Jacobus, it is I, Tantus Navran Jacobin, Lord and Emperor of the Jacobin Empire, welcome. It is time to continue our discussion on Vampire the Masquerade. Last time I was talking about some of the dramatic systems, and I finished talking about the physical ones. It's time to talk about the social dramatic systems. Now this is relatively important, but not always important, because any of these systems can be used for you, but they can also be replaced by actual role-playing, where how well the person acts that you're having them act, the player, determines the actual success or failure of these social interactions. Granted, you could also sort of mix and match between them, depending on the circumstances you use, but this systems, though in place, tend to be a little optional because of that. So, we'll just go through them, and you can see how you want to use them. The first one we want to talk about is seduction. Now seduction is important because it is your character's ability to effectively maybe trick someone into wanting to be with you and it oftentimes can be used for hunting, for vampires. It's a system for doing that. Now a character might want to roll it because the nature of using this ability might live up to their actual nature and therefore drive up a way to gain some willpower back. So there is an option for the system because of it and it takes place in steps. So a number of steps in order to get to a successful end. So the first step, of course, is initiating the conversation, the opening line. It will be an appearance plus subterfuge check with a difficulty of the target's wits plus three. You can get a bonus of plus from one to three dice or that same penalty of one to three dice depending on the opening line you want to do. You could choose not to make any opening line, just say you had one, get no dice change. Or if you have a pickup line you know about, you can use it and depending on how good it really is for the circumstances, can give you a dice pool bonus or dice pool penalty. Now, you only need one success to be successful at this. Any beyond that gives you a bonus for the next step. So that, that is going to be the banter that you're going to have. It's going to be a wits plus subterfuge roll for you with a difficulty of the target's intelligence plus three. Again, you're going to kind of mention a subject you want to talk about and the subject that you're bringing in will give a similar kind of bonus as before. Again, you can choose not to do this, just take the straight roll. And again, also bonus dice carry over to the next step, which is where you're getting into the conversation. So this is the meat of what's going on. You're going to roll a charisma plus empathy check and the person with the DC equal to the target's perception plus three. This point in time, you just need one success to be successful because the next step does not involve any kind of dice throw. The next step is that you've now seduced this person or are dragging them off to some corner in order to effectively make out, etc., etc., etc. But this is, is the main opportunity that you as a vampire have to feed on the target because you've driven them to some dark place effectively against their will without using any vampire powers and therefore using blood, just using your skills, brought them to that place, and then therefore could feed on them. Failure at any point just means you've failed, they're not interested in you. Botching means you could never use it on this person again because they just hate you. Now let's move on and talk about the next social system, fast talking, which is used to effectively confuse someone that you talk so fast and so randomly that effectively they can't get a word in edgewise or understand what's going on and they're sort of just like, what? Now most of the time it's a manipulation plus subterfuge role, but really any of the mental attributes could be used and you could really use the acting ability also instead of subterfuge. There are a combination of options depending on how you want to take it, take this. When you are successful, you keep the person engaged and confused by you. The difficulty is the target's wits plus five, so it can be pretty difficult to kind of mess over someone that is incredibly witty. The target could use willpower to get out of it. Effectively, they could use a point of willpower to get out of control of your sort of banter, which is keeping them distracted. If you fail, that means they've gotten a word in edgewise and you can actually sort of start out a conversation you failed to do to capture their attention. If you botch, you've just sort of pissed them off with whatever you're attempting to do and you can't try doing it again. Now, if you get control of someone, you may have to make more than one check in order to keep it there. Effectively, you're keeping them up in this like endless drabble of bam, a banter that you're using to distract them and keep them engaged and sort of be like, what are you talking about? Confusing them and you might need more than one check to keep it going. Now, let's talk about oration, giving a speech. Now, if your character comes up with rights of speech, might want to actually do it, do anything like that. This is an option for someone that 
doesn't want to write a speech or maybe only has little bits of it. They might have like some tagline, some bits of information that they can give that you maybe you're willing to give them a dice pool bonus because they have that. But this is really for people that are like, I'm not a great speech writer. I want to give a speech because my character can and I can't. It is a charisma plus leadership role. That the difficulty will be how susceptible the crowd you're giving the speech to is to listening to you. Traditionally, it's seven, but it can be higher or lower depending on the crowd itself. Now, for each success you get means how much the crowd is getting on your side. If you get like five successes, the crowd is going to be birthing at the mouth at what you've said and listening to your every word. If you fail, they're just ignoring you. If you botch, they could like lynch you. They're pissed off at you. They like throw things at you, go after you, that kind of thing. Y you've done pretty bad. Now, only as if it's vital to the actual storyline that you're in, you may need to make more than one check. That means if it's a long speech, something like that, that the storyline tells you that you need to make these more than one checks, then your storyteller will tell you. Now, let's move on from there to interrogation. Now, interrogation is more mental, maybe intimidation, threat of physical. It is not physical torture. There are own systems for that which aren't discussed in this book. You can come up with your own. Other books may have the material you need to to look into if you're doing that. This is the I'm in your face. I'm trying to get information out of you. I'm maybe using my words to force that out, possibly using threats. Now it is a manipulation plus intimidation roll with a difficulty of the target's willpower. Now for every success you get there, give you more information. So one success, they'll give you a little bit of information. The more you get, the more information they'll give. If you fail, they just don't give you any information. If you botch, they will never give you any information. Or if they give you something, it'll more than likely be false. Now, credibility is the ability for you to make someone believe you are telling the truth. Whether you are or not does not matter. It is the ability for you to do so. It is a manipulation plus leadership skill check where you could add famous bonus dice to this check and the difficulty is the target's intelligence plus subterfuge. You would lower this difficulty by three if you are actually telling the truth and not pretending to tell the truth and convincing people that you are. Now, for each success you get, the person believes you more and more. If you get five, they totally believe you. If you fail, then they're sort of where you started out with, where they're probably going to distrust what you said, but not necessarily automatically believe it's a lie. They're just like, not sure. If you botch, they think you're lying, completely and utterly lying, and that you are not telling them anything of the truth. Whether you are or not does not matter at that point in time. So that's it for today. I went over four of the social systems you can have. I talked about seducing someone. I talked about fast talking them and confusing them. I talked about oration, giving a speech. And I talked about credibility, convincing someone you're telling the truth, whether you are or not. Next time, I will talk about a few more of these social systems and move into talking about the mental systems, because there aren't a huge amount of social systems anyway. And after that, we'll talk about combat. So if you have any questions, comments, anything you want to say, anything you think I left out, please leave in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe to your support for the channel, the empire, and the work I do. And until the next time, I bid you farewell.